the pride of Serbians, Studenica Monastery. Stefan Nemanjic founded the medieval Serbian kingdom during the 12th century and became its first king. He contributed greatly to the development of the Serbian Orthodox Church and was revered as a saint after his death. He also built this Studenica monastery in the mountains of central Serbia. The entire complex is enclosed within a fortress wall. It was one of the largest monasteries of the Serbian Orthodox Church and once had 13 churches inside. As the kingdom thrived, the monastery was continuously extended by a number of successive kings over a period of 200 years. However, only three churches remain today. It has a masterpiece collection of Byzantine art from the 13th and 14th centuries. King Nemanjic is also portrayed here with the Virgin Mary taking him to receive the final judgment from Jesus Christ. In his later years, the king went to be trained as a monk in Greece. He died in Greece, but his son brought back his remains to be entombed here. This painting portrays the scene of the crucifixion. The blue in the background is outstandingly beautiful. During the 14th century, the Serbian kingdom was occupied by the Ottoman Empire. Muslim Ottomans banned the worship of idols and scraped off most of the faces of the Christian saints painted on the walls. During the 1990s, there was a major ethnic conflict between the Serbians and Albanians. When the conflict ended, the number of people who attended mass here doubled. This monastery enshrines King Nemanjic and his family who founded the golden age of Serbia. People pray at the king's coffin. The monastery is historically very important to the Serbian people.